There you can see, standing in the ring, the imposing figure of Alex Bublia, otherwise known as the Ulfinden. Is that a character from The Witcher? Is that correct? I think so, I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> 33 years of age from Romania, but also resided in England for a long time. 181 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 70 kilograms with a professional record of 98 fights, 67 victories, 30 losses and one draws. 2012 ISK Southern Champion, 2016 Raw Combat League World Champion, 2018 WMC I1 International Champion, trains out of PK Sunshine Muay Thai Gym. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner, he goes by the name of Nong or Shohapaya. His real name is Adison Jit Kamkun. 21 years of age, 174 centimeters tall, from Payao province in the northern part of Thailand. Has a total of 232 fights, 182 victories, 40 losses, and 10 draws. Of course, Nong Oh, he is a northern Thailand champion. And if you've just joined us, this is Thai Fight Sisaket. Part of the purpose of this event is to raise funds for the Sisaket People's Association, which will go to causes and ultimately benefit the people of Sisaket. I should also mention that all the fighters today, Thai and foreign, have been checked for COVID-19 by the Department of Medical Sciences. I should also mention that Chang Beverage, one of our main sponsors, will give 100,000 baht to anyone if you can knock out your opponent by a spinning back kick. To the head. <laughs> to the head, <laughs> We always miss that part out. Could never forget that. And so far, we haven't seen anyone do that here at Type 5, but who knows, it might happen here tonight. I'm excited for this one. Absolutely, it's it. The w no. WMO has uh, Nongo ranked at number four in the world. Bublia around 20, I believe. Yeah, Nongo, he's fought in Thai fight four times and has won by stoppages four times. But I think it's fair to say that Alex Bublia is probably his most strongest opponent. Bublia is an interesting one. He can take punishment. And he never seems to get knocked out in all the times that we've seen him fight. Oh, and absolutely. even a Thai fight. And we've seen him maybe knock down in knock the first down, round, yes, and then but, but comes not, not back and wins the fight. Exactly. It's been around the Muay Thai scene for a long time now. Oh yes, whether it's in Romania, in England, or in Thailand, or the rest of the world really. And some hard heavy shots that are coming in from Nong Oh Shohapiak. I believe he used to train out of the Nosley Academy, so shout out to Liam Nolan and uh, Jonathan Haggerty. He trained out of there. And, right and he, now, fought, he actually fought on Thai Fight London in about well, 2016, maybe 17. <laughs> Some years ago now. Yeah. And of course, he's training out of PK Sunshine Muay Thai Gym right now. So a shout out to Mr. Tuk Tuk's head rung rung, or Sia Game, as we all call him. Nice up got there from Nongo. Then walked into a left hand. But we told you Bublia can take shots. Yeah, he can definitely take shots. And he's almost like a... A drunk at his speed, he starts off slow, but when he gets started, you can't stop him. Well, speaking of this weight division, 70 kilograms, one of the men at the top of that is Tawan Chai. And if Bublia's been training with him or practicing with him, then that'll put him in good stead. You know, I've seen a lot of legends go to PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym lately, especially Samad Prayakarod and uh, Somran Kam Singh, in fact. Maybe that's a confidence booster for Alexandra Bublé. No, go, not go again. Head chasing, looking for that right hand. You know, Nongo, he seems to do everything right as an athlete. A lot of fighters in, in, in the back, you, you would see them eating a full meal, eating some oh, rice. Oh, good luck up there from Nongo. Eating some uh, minced, minced beef or minced pork. But uh, you see Nongo, he's, he, he's eating a, he's always eating a protein bar or a, <laughs> drinking a protein shake. Or eating iron by the looks of it. <laughs> good luck it's there from the Thai fighter. And dishing out iron as, as well. Some heavy shots there once again from Nongo Shahapayak, cornering Bublé. End of round one. Good display of Muay Thai from both fighters there. Stay with us here. So here we go, taking a look at some of the replays there from the first round. Nongo, of course, with some huge and heavy shots. Bublé also still fighting back, but we'll see on the back foot. Yeah, it's interesting to see Bublé just be able to decide to step onto the back foot and try and counter Nongo. Yeah, once the round was over, you could see that uh, Bublé just uh, gave a thumbs up there to his corner saying, everything's okay, don't worry, I got the situation under control. I think he fought Sayo the last time we saw him on Thai fight. It was a, as you would expect, it was an absolute war. Quite a close fight as well, yeah. fair to say. Yeah, there's more technical. 
And that's down to Bublia. Good body shot. YouTube. The second oh. round and Nongo going for the Haymakers early on. My goodness, Nongo just wants a knockout. Well, it's four victories, four KOs so far in the young career of Nongo. He's looking to add a fifth and again looking for that right hand. Absolutely how, absolutely love how Nongo just tries to hunt for the head. A beautiful elbow, the counter elbow from Bublé. But like we said, Bublé is no slouch. Absolutely, but definitely one of the more tougher opponents that Nongo has faced in a long time. Going for some huge and heavy shots, but Nongo fires back. Actually, in the third or fourth time we saw Nongo, he actually did get dropped with a flying knee out of nowhere. I mean, he picked himself right back up, but... Yeah, that's why the referee did not count him, but if you don't show any signs of... He is susceptible, he is susceptible the way that he throws those hooks. He keeps his guard very wide, very open. So, of course, what we know from Nongo as well, is that he can take shots, he can take really heavy yeah, shots. Absolutely. Especially from what we've seen in this fight against Gongkai in the Thai fight Lafang that was. Oh, oh, still trying to push forward, but a beautiful right hand there from Bubli. Very goes good. goes through the clinch. Yeah, Nongo showing a little bit of frustration right now. Yeah, he's almost frustrated that Bubli doesn't seem to be hurt from any of his shots so far. Even though he's thrown the hardest shots he could possibly throw. He's also keeping a quite a good guard as well. Almost struggling in the clinch there, Nongo. I think he did stay after the last time he fought Patrick, but it's his favorite style of Muay Thai. Goes to show the mentality. Oh, another elbow coming in there from Nongo. Yeah, it's absolutely fair to say that Nongo actually loved the Patrick style. And, the, and here in Thai fight, it suits him just fine. Oh, still getting pushed again. back. But usually by the second round we see Bublé getting started away with some heavy shots. We haven't seen a chest yet. Good, good knee there from Nongo, but again Bublé is able to move out the way of the big hammer shot. Beautiful right kick there from Nongo and he blocks the low kick as well. Very good coordination from him. Oh, good left hand there from, from Bublé and then a solid right to the body from Nongo. Oh, what a fight we have here. Absolutely phenomenal. How could both fighters be fighting at this pace? It's incredible. Good Big. shot there from Bublé, just when you thought that he was caught on the ropes. End of round two. What an incredible second round that was, just filled with action. Let's take a look at some of the action that we saw for the, for the second round. Some huge haymakers thrown from Nongo early on, but of course some beautiful counters coming in from Alexander Bublé as well. Really thrown those low kicks, but with the blocked by Nongo. But those hooks coming in from Nongo, any of them could have caused a knockout, but of course, as we know, Alex Bublé got an incredible chin, and so does Nongo. I've noticed that a few times when Nongo comes in with those wild haymakers. Bublé is trying to counter with those elbow strikes as he moves in. Just at elbow range. He's connected with a lot of them as well. All right, here we go. Third and final round of what has been a really intriguing and great matchup. Oh, fantastic. It's one of those matches that, even though we're only oh, in the third round, has rematch written beautiful. all over it. Some heavy shots again from both fighters in fact. Oh, full player swinging as well. So amazing exchanges and Nomo trying to go for the knockout as he has done for the last two rounds. Both fighters with tremendous chins. Oh my goodness, what a start to the round. And Nongo really wants to go home early. I don't know why. Maybe there's a cab waiting for him outside. Who knows? Again, you can see Bublé looking for that elbow. Nongo, of course, trading out of the famous Cho Hapayak gym, where one of the trainers there is uh, Wang, Wang Chang Noi. A lot of people may know Wang Chang Noi as the 32nd knockout man. Beautiful combinations there from Bublé. A 1 2 folds it up with a leg kick. Exceptional work here from the Romanian. Can't imagine what uh, Nongo's corner has been telling him. Maybe just go in there and raise it all up. Try to knock your opponent out. Throw as many punches as you can. You see, for the first time, we're seeing that Nongo is a little bit hesitant. A big elbow there from Nongo, though. Probably maybe have to start applying the pressure. There's that left hook. But another low kick. 
Good body shot there from Buglia. Here comes Nongo once again. Every single time we see Buglia here in the tie fight ring, he's always impressed. And now he's impressed, he's impressing us by the amount of heavy shots he's able to take and his countering has just been superb. But to get someone like Nongo, you gotta do a lot more. Oh my goodness, I don't think... Is he going to get back? He deserves to, to win the fight it's, on his feet. He really deserves it. It's been a long time it. since I've seen Bublé knocked down in the third round. Some incredible shots there thrown in by Nongo, who still has Unbelievable. knockout power. Unbelievable, gets up and throws a combination and hits it with a leg kick. Which, by the way, the fight was going... I didn't think Bublé would go down at all. What an what amazing heart he's got, though. Absolutely incredible. But of course, when you try to trade shots against someone like Nongo, you might have a really bad time. Nongo going to the clinch and getting the back of Bublé. Definitely going to work in uh, his favor for the judges if uh, what he's done so far is, isn't. And the big right hand there from Nongo, so happy up. End of the third and final round, an amazing fight. We will go amazing. to the judges. And the first time. Nongo has gone all three rounds <laughs> on tie fight. I'm clapping, the audience is clapping. Oh, absolutely. All the facets of Muay Thai on display, including Incredible Heart. No one deserves to lose, but there can only be one winner. Let's see what the judges have to say. Devastating shot there. Left hook that dropped for Blair right on the button. The defining moment of the fight, to be honest. Oh, there it is again. Straight on the nose. But for Blair, with that heart of his, wasn't going to stay down very long. Let's get confirmation. อ่ะมาดูครับผลอยู่ในมือผมแล้วนะฮะดูว่าน้องโอจะเป็นปัจชนะหรือว่ามนุษย์หมาป่าจะกลายร่างนั่นน่ะสิครับผมมาครับแล